trespasser, you have five seconds to leave the premises. Five, four, three, four. risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on, we gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Want to see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. The air stinks like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. <laughs> they had it coming. Never seen ghouls this far south before. They're getting closer to the Ark every day. Something's up, Borman. See it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys, get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. A campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind at ease. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Hungry. Hungry. I says we take the ark. Tasty mutants. 
Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go! Rip their hearts, crush their... Hey, hey! You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry! Kill! Damn, I'm good. Sleep it off. Sweet takedown. Don't be pretending you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. Think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. 
Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin. Search for clues. Then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. Farewell. Remember your elders' guidance. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder. Sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. Good news is we reached Heaven's cabin. Bad news is there's two friggin' ghouls casing the joint. We chase everything! But there are no secrets! Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it! Oh, hey, you a grog. That was amazing. Gotcha! Not too shabby. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire, because when I looked into it, everything became smaller and more distant. Amazing what the ancients could make. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden, where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, 
and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. I don't care about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade-A certified loony. No one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. Mm, ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling in my feathers. Oh, whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side, it's like a star. Never been this deep into the zone before. Bet you a picture of Grog, there's ghouls out here. They're everywhere. Look alive, we got company. Wait, that's a stalker. One of Hammond's. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Weird place for a mass grave. What were all these people doing? Running away, I think. Maybe the Red Plague hit their town and they needed to evacuate. Evacuating or stampeding over each other to be the first one out. Dumbass ancients. Uh, you know the stalkers we captured, right? Right? They, uh... They ran away. I lost them. You let the stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you! You... Better get them back. I can't. The boat took them across the river. And now the bubbleheads have the boat. But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shred your brain. <laughs> Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said the crash site was near there. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. It's Judgment Day, sinners. Obey me, and your soul will be saved. Ah! I'm making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. I didn't catch what you were saying back there, Selma. Where was Hammond going? The House of Bones. 
We're almost there. And why, pray tell, do they call it the House of Bones? It's a big house full of dead people. Oh, fantastic. Borman, don't lie to me. You do not want to be doing this right now. So cold up in these parts, I can't feel my beak. Yeah, I've never been this far north before. I feel cold to the bone. Elder Almighty. A mountain of body bags. This is... This is just horrible. Holy Ancient's power! Do you feel it? Let us now gather at the sacred site for a ritual sacrifice. The fallen machine did not contain the sacred numbers. But fear not, my children. The machine led a stalker to us. A smart stalker whose mind holds the secrets we need. The smart stalker will show us where the sacred numbers are kept! Yeah! 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 yeah, yeah. Tonight, we will sacrifice his companion's life! The Ark has spilled our blood! Tonight, we spill their blood! A stalker who hunts my children! Now he is the hunted! He is the sacrifice! Oh, does that hurt? smell of gunpowder fades. We're safe, for now. We free the prisoner. He's a stalker named Magnus, part of Hammond's team, Selma's partner. Magnus is a mutant too. Not on the outside, but on the inside. He's got powers, mind powers. But he's not insane like the Nova sect, he's calm real calm, tune into some frequency only he can hear. Magnus tells his tale. Him and Hammond were ambushed by the Novasect. Novasect heard about Hammond, heard he could talk to machines, get machines going. So they left Magnus here to die and took Hammond south to their hangout. They call it the Spear of Heaven. Novasect would make Hammond interpret the gifts of the Ancients and open the gates to Eden. Whatever that means. Magnus thinks they're gonna blow up the zone and take the Ark with them. I suggest we rescue Hammond before something goes boom. Selmer and Magnus agree. <laughs> Even ducks. My brave. Fear stalkers, you make an old man feel young. I heard of your recent exploits, and how your search for Hammond now leads to the Nova Sect's base in the south. They call it the Cathedral, but it is anything but. My brave stalkers, I pray you find Hammond in good health, and return him here safely. If the Nova sect probe Hammond's mind... Uh, the Nova sect's leader, Plutonia, is obsessed with some prophesied doomsday that never comes. 
The end of the world isn't coming fast enough. So Plutonia wants to jumpstart Armageddon with weapons left here by the ancients. Weapons that tore this place apart. Weapons Hammon could be forced to restart, to worship the ancients. Is to worship death. We are the lights that never go out. We are the Ark. And you will save us all. May your search for heaven continue in complete safety. As your search for heaven leads you deeper into the zone, you are seeing things I've never told you about. Strange things. I have withheld certain facts from you. Because, well, your innocence gives you hope. And the Ark needs hope. But you ask questions. So I will give answers. When the world fell apart, a few of humanity's best and brightest constructed hidden bases where they could survive. These bases were called enclaves. One was deep beneath the ground, another at the bottom of the sea, a third orbiting the planet. The best and brightest trapped inside their enclaves grew paranoid than hostile. They created machines that did everything for them. Metal monstrosities that granted their every wish, except immortality. The ancients' best and brightest all died. But their machines remain. Farewell. Remember your elder's guidance. I sent someone in danger. Over there in the large building. She's a strange looking creature. There's machines are surrounding her. Should we help her out? Thanks for the help. Not that I needed help. I was just getting my second wind, you know, but... I admire your fighting skills. You need skills like that in the zone. Especially against air control machines that want to quarantine you. Whatever that means. Hey, we're some straight up machine killing freaks. That's how we roll. What's your name, lady? The name's Farrow. Don't ask me where I got it from. I don't quite know, really. I was raised in a settlement. Thought it was the only settlement left on the whole wide world. But meeting you lot. Makes me feel a bit more, well, hopeful. Who are you? What are you doing out here? We're stalkers from the Ark. We're headed south to rescue our friend from some lunatics called the Nova Sect. Heard of them? You're asking me if I've heard of the Nova Sect? Mate, the Nova Sect butchered my bleeding settlement. They put their mind control junk into the rest and led them away like cattle. I'm the only one that got away. So yeah, I know the Nova Sect. I'm hunting them. I'm gonna make them pay. We need a fighter like you on our side. If you help us save our friend, we'll help you take down the Nova Sect. Once we cross these fields, keep your eyes open for an old tower. It's the Nova Sect's home base. They call it the Spear of Heaven. Hammer should be there. Regroup. You wanted me to go north, so I went north. I didn't complain one bit, but now we're going south. More south than anybody's been before, and I don't like it. It's like nightmare flowers and zone smog out here. I know the legends. Yikes. This is like a, a war machine, yeah? Thick armor and big teeth. Ghouls up ahead, guarding the entrance to the farm. Time for hunter mode. I want to party, man! I don't want to work for the Noah sect! Why are we doing this? 
Watch what you say. The agents are watching us, you mate. So shut up and get back to work. <laughs> Sorry about that. They heard it coming. Blessed be the ancients. Use my body as your vehicle for vengeance. Find the thief among us. Strike him down. Blimey. Did you see all this food? Who knew ghouls could be farmers? How many times have I told you that the mushrooms are sacred tools for my mind, not yours. My mind is good mind, thick mind. Your mind oh. is nothing. Oh. We need to get as much food as possible into the sanctum before the cleansing of the Ark. Now get to work. Simpleton, just leave. Go on patrol. Can you feel the darkness? <laughs> what the shit is that? Your soul. Are you seeing this? You're getting closer to Hammond. Good. Seeing more ghouls, too? <laughs> Not so good. Where do ghouls come from? I'll tell you. As the Red Plague burned through the human race, civilization fell apart. Between two tribes of ancients, a war started. That war grew into a world war. All the weapons they swore they'd never use, they used with wild abandon. When the war was over, the world lay poisoned. Soldiers who had nothing left wandered the zone to live in the irradiated wastelands. Those soldiers beget little soldiers, who grew up and beget other little soldiers, who after a few centuries became the ghouls you see today. You want me to call the ghouls humans? I refuse. Ghouls are not humans. The rot has stripped the souls from their bodies leaving only rage. Rage that jumps from one generation to the next, getting stronger and stronger. The goal appetite for Ark blood will never be sated. Remember that the next time you face them. We're getting close to Hammond. If this is bad guy central, where's all the ghouls? Ghoul or no ghoul, I'm not letting my guard down. Up ahead, that building is the Spear of Heaven. I think that's the name of the ancients who built this place. An enclave is kind of like a posse, right? That thing looks freaking dangerous. 
And kind of phallic. Just saying. Okay, this silo is totally devoid of life. Should we be in here right now? That Novasek psycho said Hammond was around here. Keep your eyes open. Hate to rush you guys, but can we rescue your friends before the big world-ending weapon blows us to smithereens? Please? Well, if it ain't Hammond himself, finally. We have to find a way to save him. Hammond's barely alive when we find him. But we find him. We find him as a team. With Hammond, the Ark's heart can start beating again. We think our mission is complete, but Hammond insists on telling us a secret. A secret that rips a hole through the middle of my life. He tells us he's been to Eden. Yes, the Eden. The mythical place beyond the zone where the secrets to life are kept. He says Eden is a base for the ancients, who are very much alive and creating the Mimer machines we've been seeing. He says the ancients do know the secrets to life, but not human life. Mutant life. Me, Pharaoh, Selma, Magnus. How our ears perk up. If ducks had ears, they'd perk up too. Us mutants don't remember jack about our pasts. We're walking amnesiacs. We wonder why some of us look like animals and others have powers we don't understand. Finding out who we are sounds like the quest of a lifetime, or a very big mistake. There's a problem. Hammond tells us the Novasek probed his mind, stole the location of Eden from his thoughts. They're headed there now, determined to unleash the power of the Ancients and cleanse the zone, which means killing everyone inside the Ark. Our home. He says there's one chance to beat the Nova sect to the gates of Eden. Go through the Forbidden City, he says. It's a shortcut and the Nova sect are too scared to go through. That doesn't make me feel too good. Hammond begs us not to tell the Elder, because the Elder won't accept the truth. Our mission was a man. Now it's Eden. We have one final journey to save the Ark. But if us stalkers discover who we really are, will we want to come back? Your mission is complete, stalkers. You returned Hammond safe and sound. Our machines will hum with new life. The Ark is forever in your debt. Thank you. My little birdies have told me. Hammond thinks the fabled Eden lies beyond the Forbidden City. And you are thinking of going through the city to get to Eden. Have I taught you nothing? There is no Eden. And even if there were, entering the Forbidden City is impossible. That is the city where the Red Plague started. The ancients in charge thought they could quarantine the people by building a giant wall that covered the entire city. It stands to this day impenetrable. You should stay at the Ark and heal your wounds. No more adventures. Restore a glimmer of hope to a world of chaos. Join me and help bring light back to the zone. Come to me. Come to Lux. Did you hear that point? That was weird. Keep your guard up. Take a chill pill, all right? If the voice wants to bring light to the zone, I'm all for it. All in, me. Come on, let's find this Lux.
Welcome to the Castle of Light. <laughs> Forgive me for not providing the illumination this castle is known for. I pray that someday we will once again become a beacon of light for weary travelers. I swear, you got a nice place here. Would your name happen to be Lux? We heard you outside. Lux I am. You say you heard my voice in the zone? Quite interesting. Perhaps the fates brought you here. You look strong, well armed. You get things done, yes? Hells yes. We're stalkers. We take everything the zone throws at us and then some. Then I humbly request your assistance. There is a pack of renegade ghouls who wish to keep the zone in darkness. They stole the key to the sacred sanctum, where the lights get their power. <laughs> Perhaps you can help me recover this key from the ghouls. It's a special key. You wouldn't miss it. Return it to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. <laughs> I like handsome rewards. We'll deal with the ghouls and get your keys. Hey, that Lux guy seemed pretty cool, right? I hear you there. Seems like he can be a friend. I don't have friends. Well, except you lot. But another friend would be cool. Lux's lights are a beacon of hope for the zone. Let's turn them back on. We're gonna have to convince those ghouls to give us back the key. Sideways trees. Creepy. Can we find Lux's key and get out of here? <laughs> the look on Lux's face when we robbed him blind! I love being a ghoul! The look on his face when we stole his key! Now his slaves are trapped in the power room, and he can't make his pretty lights go on. <laughs> Dumbass! We should go back, see if he hires us again, then steal more! <laughs> Stone cold. Check out this key. Bet somebody's missing this. This feels wrong. Why are we doing this? Yeah. Why are we helping Lux again? I don't want to rag on anybody, but he's a bit of a dick, isn't he? Who cares about his frickin' key? I think Lux is mucking about in our minds, putting that hypnotize on us. We've got to make him pay. Bring the key back to me, my intrepid warriors, so we may once again shine light from this blessed cathedral of hope. Bring the key back. Bring the key back. We got Lux's key. Should we give it to him or give it to Prep back home? Well, we did promise to return it to him, and promises are important. How about we just take the key and unlock his sacred sanctum ourselves? Go in, take a little peek. The stalkers return, and you've returned the key to my sanctum. My machines will once again hum with energy, and the lights will shine so bright they will be seen by the ancients in space. <laughs> Thank you, stalkers. <laughs> Thank you. Lux seemed like a nice guy, till he turned into a psycho. Lux was powerful. Now imagine 50 of him. That's the Nova Sect. The odds are against us. But fuck it. Let's roll the dice and kick some ass. There's an underground complex near here. Very close, I think. Never seen it, but I heard about it. A clan lived in it, and they supposedly left some good stuff before disappearing. Someone busted in here recently. 
There might be some of our rothead buddies down there. Look alive. We're getting pretty deep. I'm not saying I'm scared, but... What kind of bloodthirsty ghouls would kill all these innocent people? This is nuts. How about we administer some vengeance on their rotting asses? You with me? Survivor. Ah, oh, my saviors, saviors, dirty little saviors. I, I wish I washed my hands so I could shake your hands and paws uh, or whatever's growing out of your arms. I, I'm not racist, I'm not. Please, tell me your names. What we're trying to ask you is, are you a freaking whack job or what? No, no whack job. I'm Emma. Emma the cook. I'm the one who cooks and cleans for the pretty, pretty people. They were pretty. For decades, we hid from the zone. We were safe until the ghouls found a way in. You first hear the screams, and then the lights went out, and you can hear the scraping and the chewing. Hey, I'm no warrior. I'm just a cook, you know? Emma, dirty little coward. We thought the last settlement was the Ark. We didn't know you existed. Well, you got to get out of the Ark more, mate. Get some exercise. Wait a minute. Did you say Ark? Oh, boy. You don't want to hear this. You really don't want to hear this. They kept saying they were gonna destroy the Ark with some, uh, uh, uh weapon uh, that they're bringing to their masters, uh, some weird religious shit. Th they want to blow up the Ark and kill everyone inside, everyone. Listen, these ghouls have a lair to the north. The leader is called the Grey One. They're just multiplying up there, breeding like zone rats. Please, please do something about them before it's too late. So, this is where the cook said the murdering ghouls ran off to. The lair of the horned devil. Okay. So this sign clearly indicates there's a devil with horns in there, plus a bunch of ghouls who butcher settlements for fun. Who wants to turn around? Let's vote. The horny devil can blow me. These ghouls just messed with the wrong goddamn stalkers. We can't let them slaughter another settlement. This ends right here, right now. Help! Aim for the boar! As good as dead! Help! With me! It's a lie! It's a lie! The AAC and Vesselami ah. neutralize all mutant intruders. It's rare to see one of these things working. Love the way it hums. Prip would love to get his hands on one of these. That's the biggest wall I've ever seen. It's surrounding the entire city. They were trying to keep people out? Trying to keep people in is more like it. That's where the Red Plague started. It spread fast, got out of control. So the people in charge built a wall around the city to quarantine it. To stop the people inside from infecting the world. Doomed them all. That was a long time ago. Now no one wants to go in. Well, that's why they call it the Forbidden City. So the plague might still be in there. Can you tell me again why we're going this way? Your boy Hammond said the Novasex were moving around the city. We cut through the city. We get to Eden first. Messing with. 
They thought they could stop the plague with these checkpoints. The only way to stop it was to stay here and never leave. I'm starting to think their world was worse than ours. Eden's starting to look real good right now, isn't it? Let's keep moving. You defy me. You defy your elder. I told you not to go through the Forbidden City. The city is a tomb. The Rat Plague poisons its air. Strange beings patrol its grounds. Perversions of the ancients. And still you go. Still you seek this ridiculous Eden. There is no Eden. Stop this foolishness before you get yourselves killed. Farewell. Holy Ancient's power! I feel the gates breaking! The sacred numbers call to us! My children, listen to the words of Plutonia. We stand before the gates of Eden. Inside lies the sacred numbers. The numbers will awaken the weapon and cleanse the zone. Destroy the gates. Enter Eden. Find the sacred. Oh! Cleanse the oh! zone with fire and bring the ancient home. Say my name, she's wife. It's Pharaoh. of my blurred vision, something comes out of the arc, light dancing across my arm, up my face. I look up. I'm being scanned by some giant eyeball. Then Dux and Faro get scanned. Then Magnus and Selma. The light cuts out and the eyeball darts back inside the wall. We hear pistons churning, gears turning. A machine humming back to life. The gates of Eden open. Maybe Eden sees we're mutants and welcomes us home. We stand there in silence. The five of us are all mutants, found and raised by the Elder. This feels like an answer to the question that's plagued our lives. Who are we? And do we go in and find out? When Ducks and me first started out, everything was cut and dry. The Elder knew best. There were no answers in the zone. Mutants didn't know who they were, where they came from. And that was fine. No one cared. But now, after the enemies we fought, after the friends we found, after all we've seen, the five of us stand here at the gates of Eden. Do we go in? Do we want to know who we are?
It is done. Now, let's see what hides behind that gate. I know this place. I don't know how. It just looks familiar. That's the same star we saw on those flying machines. The machines did come from here. Hammond was right. find out. I don't believe it. I can't believe it. This time we're talking about skeletons that don't look like us. This one kinda does. There might have been mutants in Eden. Ancients. 
why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients calling down from space. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center Sweden. I repeat, Command Center Sweden. Command Center Sweden. Coming.